You may be familiar with Peppa Pig, but not with these mysteries, because despite being a children's show, Peppa Pig has got many mysteries that are yet to be solved. Here are a few popular ones. In our previous video, we told you a secret about Mr. Fox and how he might actually be a thief. And today, we're going to tell you a secret about Mr. Fox's close relative, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf is one of the most suspicious characters in Peppa Pig. As we know, in Peppa Pig, all the animals, despite their nature, live in harmony. But Mr. Wolf might be an exception. Throughout the series, we've seen Mr. Wolf display his true colors numerous times. For example, in one of the episodes, Daddy Pig and Mr. Wolf decide to go on a picnic. But first, they have to cross a river in a boat. As they travel, Daddy Wolf keeps mentioning how hungry he is and looks at Daddy Pig in a rather unusual way. Although he might just be eyeing the picnic basket, it doesn't seem so. It seems like he's more interested in Daddy Pig than the food inside the picnic basket. And there's more. In another episode, Daddy Pig builds a house for the Wolf family. And when Mr. Wolf comes to check the house, he makes a joke about the material used to build the house. And if you don't know, that joke is a reference to the story of three little pigs. Looking at all these details, one might think that Mr. Wolf is actually a predator, but we can't say that for sure. Peppa is four years old and George is 18 months old. They are both in the same class at school, along with all of Peppa's friends and all of George's friends. They have the same teacher, Madame Gazelle, and the same lessons. But the question here is this, if George is at school, aged 18 months, then surely Peppa would have been at school when she was 18 months old. If this was the case, then Peppa would have been learning the same things then as George is learning now, except that Peppa is also learning the same things now as George is learning now. Well, this is really confusing to think about. Is Peppa destined to repeat the same school year over and over again? Or has George been dropped into the deep end at school and must have the same lessons as the four-year-olds? Also, why are any of them at school? Some people might argue that it isn't a school, it's a playgroup, which is why all the kids are lumped together. But there are two answers to this. Firstly, that place is far too structured to be a playgroup. And what Peppa and George go to is a school. This is demonstrated by the fact that all the kids sit there behaving and listening to the teacher. They actually learn things, instead of fighting over the sand pit and doing a wee in the corner of the room, then trying to cover it up. Secondly, it is referred to as a school on several occasions, most notably whenever something out of the ordinary is taking place, such as the school fete and the school play. So, why are all these children of different age group in the same classroom? This is one of the greatest mysteries of Peppa Pig. Now, let's talk about one of the most disturbing mysteries about Peppa Pig. As we know, in Peppa Pig, different species of animal live together. For example, there are characters like pig, rabbit, bear, fox, lion, and others in the show. But the issue here is, what do they eat? Surely not meat, right? Because if characters like Mr. Fox and Mr. Wolf eat meat, then it would disrupt the whole ecosystem of the show. These animals wouldn't be living together in such a situation. But we can't fully deny the fact that these animals don't eat meat because in the episode, The Fire Engine, we see Daddy Pig and his soccer team meeting for a barbecue. When we look at the participants in the barbecue, we can see that there is a zebra, a rabbit, and a pony who are vegetarians. But besides them, we also have Mr. Bull and Mr. Pig at this barbecue, and the two represent the two largest groups of meats used in barbecues worldwide, beef and pork. So, what kind of barbecue can a group of animals like this make? Madame Gazelle being a vampire isn't a secret anymore. Even though the creators of Peppa Pig have never said it outright, She's actually hundreds of years old, which brings up other questions about her. Like, what's her real name? Madam isn't a name, and Gazelle is just her species. Another mystery is that Madame Gazelle used to be in a band with her sisters called the Rocking Gazelles. In one episode where the kids draw their families, we learn her sisters are named Greta and Gretel, but we still don't know Madame Gazelle's real name. In a farewell party episode, one of her sisters calls her Gigi, which are the initials of her name, Gigi. The second G is for Gazelle, but what about the first one? Since her sister's names start with G too, Greta and Gretel, maybe Madame Gazelle's name starts with G as well. But what could it be? Just like her past, this is a mystery too. Throughout the show, there have been mentions of wild animals, and one thing always remains consistent with it. They always seem to fear them. In some episodes, such as Wendy Wolf's birthday, 
where the children get scared of a possibility of there being a wild animal, only then to reveal it, was Wendy's grandma, and also in the episode Pedro the Cowboy, where the children, again, get scared of the possibility of a wild animal, only then to reveal that it was only a small bird, though Pedro jokes that it was an eagle. Not surprising since birds seem to only be normal animals in the Peppa Pig universe. And in the episode where the all the children go to the zoo, with how Madame Gazelle reacted to Mr. Lion and Mrs. Crocodile, it contributes to the fact that lions and crocodiles are wild animals, but obviously they're not, right? And here's where the theory part comes in. And to be honest, this is less a theory and more of a guess. Not much evidence is shown to make a proper theory, but enough is shown to make a guess. A guess that in the Peppa Pig universe, there are two types of animals, the wild animals and the civilized ones. They may have diverged somewhere down the line as to where one group stayed and kept being just animals and one group evolving and growing a civilization. But the mysterious thing is, even if they live together peacefully, what do they eat, meat or vegetables? This certainly is one of the greatest mysteries. In Peppa Pig, we discover there's not just one talking potato, but two. On top of that, one of them, Super Potato, even has superpowers. Initially, everyone thought Super Potato was just Mr. Potato wearing a cape and red underpants, but seeing them together made us realize they're separate characters. Beyond these two large vegetables, in the episode Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, we meet more talking fruits and veggies Mrs. Carrot, Blueberry, and Sprout. They're all fruits and veggies with their own lives, arms, legs, and voices. It's clear these characters aren't intended for kids' plates. But where did these thinking vegetables come from? Some fans think they might be the result of experiments in a lab that brought common vegetables to life. Super Potato, with his ability to fly, adds to the mystery. Are there others like Mr. Beat out there? And if these veggies are results of scientific experiments, who's behind it all? These questions add a layer of mystery to the world of Peppa Pig. Where do humans live? Besides talking animals, dancing vegetables, and celebrities, Peppa's world also has some humans. This is quite clear when we see a person playing Santa Claus in Mr. Potato's play. Another episode where we see a common person in Peppa's series is when we see a pirate passing right in front of the city's police station. During the moment when the policeman says he didn't understand why the pirates never came to them to get their money back. So, we conclude that there are at least three groups of beings in Peppa's world. Talking animals, also talking vegetables, and some humans too, but we rarely see them. So where do they really live? This is definitely one of the biggest mysteries in Peppa Pig. So these were some of the mysteries in Peppa Pig. And as always, we'll see you all in the next video.